fossilized ichthyosaur remains have been uncovered for centuries, but were originally misidentified as fish, dolphins, or crocodile bones. More accurate identification began in the early 19th century with the discovery of more complete skeletons, notably by pioneering paleontologist Mary Anning. Ichthyosaurus communis was among the first of these ancient, fish lizards to be formally recognized by science. In the 1830 years, early reconstructions portrayed ichthyosaurs as crocodile-like creatures with flippers, long, straight, eel-like tails, and overly shrink-wrapped features, exaggerating the visibility of their eye sockets and the internal bones of their flippers. They were also commonly shown as semi-aquatic animals, often depicted hauling themselves out of the water to rest. By the late 1830 years, fossil impressions revealed ichthyosaurs had smooth, scaleless skin, and the frequent, broken, tips of their tails were interpreted as evidence of paddle-like tail fins. The 1850-years Crystal Palace sculptures reflected this more accurate interpretation, adding a low dorsal ridge reminiscent of a beluga whale. From the 1880 years onward, exceptional fossil discoveries preserving ichthyosaur body outlines revealed their fully aquatic nature, with streamlined bodies, triangular dorsal fins, and crescent-shaped vertical tail flukes. Fossilized pregnant females confirmed that ichthyosaurs gave birth to live young rather than laying eggs. This more dolphin-like image of ichthyosaurs gained popularity in the early 20th century, depicting them as active animals, often shown swimming in groups, hunting fish and ammonites, or leaping out of the water like modern dolphins. While there is no direct evidence that they were social or acrobatic, these lively portrayals provided a striking contrast to the increasingly sluggish depictions of non-avian dinosaurs during the same period. However, further scientific research on ichthyosaurs stalled for much of the 20th century, as it was believed there was little left to discover about them. It wasn't until the late 20th century that ichthyosaurs experienced a resurgence in scientific interest, similar to the dinosaur renaissance. A surge in research over the past few decades has significantly expanded our understanding of their diversity and biology. Ichthyosaurus communis lived during the early Jurassic, around 196 to 183 million years ago, in the shallow tropical seas that once covered present-day Europe. Reaching about 3 meters in length, it was built for high-speed, long-distance swimming, much like modern tuna, and likely had a large keeled peduncle on the sides of its tail to aid in propulsion. Analysis of bone structure and isotopes shows that ichthyosaurs were warm-blooded. One remarkable specimen even preserves a layer of insulating blubber, much like modern marine mammals, as well as some clues about their coloration, they were countershaded, darker on the back and lighter on the underside. In some cases, pigmentation preservation has been detailed enough to reveal branched melanophore cells, which are linked to the ability to change color. This suggests that ichthyosaurs may have been capable of altering their skin color, similar to how some modern reptiles can do so, 